What's going on, me la familia? It is your boy GS, and as you can see in the title, I am bringing you who I believe he's the worst quarterback in Madden. I hate playing with this guy. Why do I even do it to myself? But as you see, my opponent went ahead and selected. He wanted to be a cheese head? Okay. So he went ahead and selected the Limburger Cheese Boys. And not only that, he's going to hit me with the Honey Dijon Mustard Pants? That's a dirtbag move. But we have the Oakland Raiders, and I believe I have undisputable evidence to prove that Carson Palmer, for his rating, has to be the worst quarterback in Madden. Like, I don't know why I do it to myself. I, I think he's the worst quarterback in Madden. And I'm not talking about, you know, you go ahead and name somebody who's a 55 overall. For him to be an 80 overall, he's horrible. He is horrible. So going into this game, I'm already expecting to have a lot of McFadden in my game plan. Because I don't like passing with Palmer. Because his, his overall, you know, you see an 80, you know, 84, 85, whatever he is. And you figure he should be able to move the ball a little bit. And... You'll just see how the gameplay progresses. Um, we are at, we got him to a third down right here. And, uh, you know, he backs up. He goes deep. He doesn't get it. So what does he do? He does the weenie move. He acts like the weenie that he is. And he goes for it on fourth down. And he doesn't get it. He doesn't have that fourth down swag. You play to win the game. And unfortunately, he wants to be a weenie and go for it. So we're in a good position right here to score a touchdown. And right here, whoopsie, you missed. <laughs> I think that's going to be the new, you blatantly missed the tackle alert. Every time we just get a huge, nice little cutback or big dudes, whoopsie, you missed. <laughs> so right now, we're forced to kick a field goal, but we're very happy with that. You know, we're not frustrated that we didn't get a touchdown. We're not upset with ourselves offensively. To me, those were free points. You know, he did the... the the, what is it? The cocktail in the blanket, the weenie in the blanket, the piggy in the blanket move, and went for it on fourth down, and he didn't get it. We started the position in field goal range, so we feel like those were three points. So right here, he breaks off a really, really good run, and he gets it to about midfield. And the Raiders' defense, they're not as quick as they used to be in previous Maddens. Like, they had so many players in 95, 94 overall. I mean, speed-wise, that is, you know, 97, 98s, and um, it's definitely changed. Uh, right here, he hits me over the top, and um, thankfully, you know, Aaron Rodgers doesn't make too many mistakes, and thankfully, he doesn't get that one right there. Uh, right here, this time, he ends up converting on fourth down, but we end up fumbling. That's karma for you, son. When you act like a weenie, you give up the pigskin. That's exactly what happens. So right here, of course, we have a dangerous running back in McFadden, and we're trying to utilize him, but when we're forced to pass... We make mistakes such as that. We end up throwing a touchdown, except it's to the wrong team. And I can't blame Palmer, and that's completely my fault. I just made a stupid, stupid read, and I just try to make a, a throw out of nothing, and I end up throwing an interception. You know, I can't blame Palmer, and that's absolutely my fault. Bad read on my end. Right here, we got McFadden. Woo! He got hit with the lumber. So right here, you know, we're trying to move the ball. We're trying to call no huddle. We're trying to pick up the pace here. And uh, Carson Palmer throws another interception. And that's just that Packers defense, man. They have really, really good man-to-man. -man. Nobody's open. So I should have just taken a sack or throw it out of bounds. But instead, I forced another throw. And I throw another pick six. So he scored 14 points defensively. And I'm like, this isn't going to be a fun game. <laughs> this is going to be a long game. So now I feel like I have to pass a little bit more. Right there, that is exactly what I'm talking about. And Carson Palmer being one of the worst quarterbacks in this game. Wide open on the streak. He's got... A good step ahead of him and he under throws it but thankfully we come through with the fumble you drop something son you didn't drop the pigskin so we end up recovering that and again we're in good position to make something happen we felt like we should have scored a touchdown on that streak before wide open streak but he under throws ah don't even get me started on that but i'm um, right here we need this to avoid a field goal so um we're looking nobody's open so we check down again on a quick drag to forward just to keep the chains moving you know we got a first down and I, I really feel not too excited or happy to pass to precision pass with as we throw touchdown right there with Palmer that is you know I want to keep it short I don't want a precision pass because whenever I do with Palmer I feel like it's just a horrible throw so I'm trying to avoid that at all costs so we go for two we make it a field goal game 
And we, we um, stopped him so far. Every possession he's had the ball. You know, we stopped him twice. You know, he hasn't been able to score on us offensively. So hopefully we can get another stop. Right here he goes deep, deep, deep up top. And I'm sorry, son. No soup for you. We end up getting an interception. He definitely had, um, you know, some separation there. But that ball floated in the air for a long while. And we were able to recover and get an interception. So our defense is doing pretty good. You know, outside of me making bad blunders, making bad reads on offense, our defense has been doing pretty good against this monstrous offense that they can have, you know, when you're playing against the Packers. So, uh, so far, you know, Carson Palmer's throwing it right. You know, we're trying to keep it short, trying to keep it good. And right there, we catch on the streak. A touchdown to Howard Bay. And this is the thing. Well, not a touchdown. I did an idiot move around the bounds, but... See, that is the type of thing with Palmer I don't understand. You see how the last four or five throws were really, really good. He looks like an 84 overall quarterback, making pretty decent throws. He doesn't have high throw power, so I'm not expecting him to zip it in there. But for the most part, if somebody's open, he should be able to hit him being an 84 overall quarterback. But you'll see undisputable evidence later on in the gameplay. So we're up four points, and we're feeling really, look at this bringing the lumber right there. We packing the wood. Right there, he drops it. And right here, we got a big third down. We really, really, really need this stop right here. So he ends up going to the left, to the left. And he ends up getting a first down right there. So it's really, really, really tough defending the Packers. They just have weapons everywhere. Aaron Rodgers is a boss. He can squeeze in and throw anywhere. So, you know, we definitely got to stay on top of our game defensively. And so far, we've been able to do that. Right there, he takes off with them. And he ends up getting a pretty good gain. He definitely gets the first down. So... Um, you know, the area is becoming, you know, tighter right there. Don't test the user. He's so disrespectful. Somebody please give this man a link to my channel so he knows. Don't throw the ball my way. Right there, we try screenplay, we get nothing. So, second half is coming. I mean, the first half, excuse me, is coming to an end. So, we're trying to make something happen. You know, we got speed all over the field. So, we're just trying to take, you know, advantage of any type of separation we could get. Right there, we try to go to forward, nothing. So, second and ten, we're about midfield. So, we're looking for anything. Right here, we end up finding uh, McFadden on the wheel route. And uh, we end up getting a really good game. So, we're definitely in field goal range. We got two timeouts. Right there, Ford is wide open. He gets tackled on the three-yard line. So, we call timeout. We got one timeout left. Ryan Palmer, we're looking. We end up getting a completion on the drag route. But he doesn't get a touchdown. So, this right here was definitely my mistake. I thought I would have enough time to call a running play. And if I didn't get it, I figured I could spike the ball with enough time to kick a field goal. Unfortunately, wah, wah, wah. Didn't work out. I should have just kicked the field goal. And we lost out on three points, man. So that right there definitely sucked. So going into the second half, as we recovered that fumble, thankfully, I felt like we should be up a cool seven points. But unfortunately, we're not. Ah, just a, a mistake that, you know, was made by us. So again, second to four right here. We're back up with Palmer. And look who's open wide open. Nothing. I mean, I wouldn't say wide open, but open enough to make that throw. So Palmer stands in the pocket again, and we end up going down and getting the first down right there. And look at Palmer completion percentage. It's not too good. And right there, how wide open can you be? How wide open can you be? Look at that horrible throw. So the next play, you figure he'll bounce back. This is Carson Palmer. He's 80-something overall. Right here, we got him on the streak. Wide open. And the, he overthrew him by like 12 yards. I am getting these horrible throws from somebody who's an 80-something overall. It's not like I got Terrell Pryor in there who's a 60-something. You're an 80-something. You should not be miscuing back-to-back -back open streaks. So we're unable to take advantage of wide open streaks. And now he has the ball with an opportunity to take the lead. But we feel confident. I mean, we're never confident in our defense unless we got the 49ers, Texans, or Steelers, or something like that. But... Our defense has been playing pretty good, but we end up getting an interception right there. I don't know if that's me. Maybe I'm wrong, but I thought that should have been a safety. Did I catch a break? Maybe you guys could leave in the comment section if I caught a break. Because I, I could have swore that was a safety. He caught the ball. Two feet. Definitely hit the ground before he got into the end zone. He got tackled in the end zone. They called it a touchback. Man, look at another bad throw. Look at another bad throw by Palmer. He's open. Why can't you make accurate throws? Oh, that was a very accurate, Carson. Thank you. Thank you for finally giving me an accurate throw. To the wrong team! Another big six. 
And anyways, about leave in the comment section if, if I caught a break on that. I think I did. Maybe there's something I'm missing. I thought I saw two feet come in um, before the end zone and then he got tackled in. But maybe because of the momentum dragged him into the end zone, it doesn't count. I don't know. But look at this wonderful play by McFadden. He's so strong. I picked things up and put them down. He he fell, got up, and managed to get the first down. So that right there was huge. And, and Carson Palmer finally makes an accurate throw. And whenever he does, the Raiders are very, very difficult to stop, in my opinion, just due to the fact of the sheer speed that they have at every position, even tight end and fullback. They're studded with speed everywhere. So we got a four-point lead. That field goal we missed out on in the first half would have been a host, um, a good seven-point lead, but we missed out on that. So um, a touchdown does give him the lead, and hopefully we can go ahead and just make something happen. You know, we got multiple stops this game. We're hoping for one more. So right there, we end up getting a tackle. And later on during the game, I thought I was getting cheesed due to um, uh, lag, but... Turns out we both had lag. He had lag on his end. And right there, he does a weenie move. And Karma comes through and he ends up not converting. So we're definitely feeling good. We want to take advantage of that. We are already in field goal range. So again, we will take that. We will gladly take a field. Right here, we should notice the lag happened every time I hiked the ball. And I felt like he was doing something on purpose. But it happened to him too. You know, so I definitely don't think it was intentional. But for whatever reason, it was happening every time we hiked the ball. It was perfectly fine after that. It was perfectly fine before that. But whenever we hiked the ball, as you're, as you're seeing, excuse me, it was a good two, three second lag, which was weird. It kind of throws your timing off. But, you know, we're driving the ball a little bit. But right here, we got a, a big third and 10. And we're trying to get something. And again, the lag kind of throws you off a little bit. And uh, we don't get anything right there. So we end up um, kicking a field goal. So we're up a touchdown, and we're feeling good about it. You know, again, we've made tremendous, tremendous stops on defense, and we're hoping we can continue that. One more stop, I feel like this game is over. Uh, hopefully, you know, we can come through and put this game away. And right there, it hits me with the hitch route, and Jordy Nelson ends up getting it. Um, good, good, good amount of yards right there, about 15 yards right there. So. I pretty much know he's going to be passing at this point because he's been passing majority of the game. But he hits me with a streak and he scores a touchdown. So right now, if you guys know me, if you guys know this channel, if you guys know the biblicalness that I provide for you, you guys should know GS is about to milk the clock. And you are absolutely correct. We are going to try and kill as much time as possible. Two things in this situation, if you guys are in this situation and um, you guys um, don't know what to do at this point, if you see tremendous amounts of lag. One is you want to score as quickly as possible get a home run do anything score as quickly as possible one to three plays if not kill as much time kill time off the play clock but try and score in as little plays as you can if you can't score within three plays then continue to kill the clock keep the ball away from him you want to score as quickly as possible so um if he gets the ball he scores you have enough time to retaliate you want to kill as much time off the clock if you can't score quickly so that you can just kill the clock and keep the ball away from him and you know hopefully get a game winning drive and we put ourselves in a pretty good position uh, right here almost scored with McFadden but we end up moonwalking backwards to get tackled and we end up uh, getting him to um, uh, he doesn't waste time out but we waste 40 more crucial seconds so it's a minute 10 left can our defense come through again we got a lead we got a touchdown lead so hopefully we can come through right there was a big catch and we need something. You know, we need a big stop right here to put this game away. Right there, throws to the right. We end up switching up. And I'm sorry, son. No soup for you. Three piece. Oh, is that three piece? I think that's a three piece. So that's the end of the game, guys. We end up just needing the ball out and uh, attempting a field goal here with Janikowski. Not to rub it in or be a jerk, but I want to test his range out. And unfortunately, he ends up missing. But that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, it's your boy GS signing out. Whoopsie. Follow me on Twitter if you're not already. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Hit that like button if you guys were entertained. It's your boy GS signing out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.